finally, it looks like the Nickelodeon devs has finally saved the game. There's a new patch coming, 1.3, and what I'm going to do is go through it with you guys, just the more notable parts because when I say this is hella patch notes, there's a lot of patch notes here, but I'm going to go through the most notable, what I feel like is going to change the game in a good way. Let's check it out. All right, this, this one is very notable, match timing. We've seen high level play become centered around very fast one combo KO setups while simultaneously seeing players struggle to KO opponents at mid and higher percentages. We have done small adjustments to the majority of light attacks in the game to smooth out match timings across the board, increasing knockback power on high percent opponents to speed up KOs at higher percentages and simultaneously tone down low KO setups. I'm happy with that because there have been games that I'm fighting the beavers, they got 200% and all the attacks I'm attacking, all the light attacks or even some heavy attacks is not killing them. It's certain moves that were killing them and I thought it was completely stupid because of how high their percentage was. I'm happy they're addressing it. Big W for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. This right here really got me excited. Grounded versus aerial play. I love to play on the ground. Yes, aerial is cool, but if that's the only way to play, I hate it. While aerial option will still remain very strong, we shifted some KO power on aerial charge attacks to grounded charge attacks to both tone down early KO combos, incentivize grounded play a bit more, as well as tone down particularly polarizing aerial options of some characters to address aerial over grounded option across the cast. We'll be paying particular attention to how these options and aerial versus grounded play develops over time for future updates. W. And this is this is what I really wanted to talk about. Controls. D-pad can now be set to movement on controllers. I've been losing my mind playing on these stupid analog sticks. I'm so happy I could finally do that. Also for keyboard players, C-stick implementation. They can now use C-stick and map either strong attacks or light attacks onto the C-stick. Also, there's an ability to separately modify C-stick does charge a light moves on ground or in air all right online rank mode is now the best of three matches i'm cool with that rank rating can now go above a thousand percent w can now see the opponent's rank in character select screen and loading screen in rank mode fire because i never knew what rank i was playing rematch button is now at the top of the menu option in lobby matches added afk detection to resolve screen Added the ability to boot people from an online lobby. Let's go. Yes, those are a lot of online changes that was needed. Fire, another W. Options, crossplayer options no longer restart whenever the game is closed. That was one of the most annoying things. I had the issue with the screen shape. They're addressing it, I'm happy. Campaign, do we really care about campaign? If you do, there's a link in the description to read this. We are moving on to the more important stuff. All right, now these are some gameplay changes for characters. SpongeBob, we made adjustments to light forward air, neutral air, and bubble attacks to give better opportunities to play against some of SpongeBob's more powerful options. Yes, because forward air attack was stupid broken. I'm happy that addressed another W. Patrick, with some small damage tweaks to Patrick charge up air, less space coverage on dash attack, and adding reflecting properties to his neutral special, we're now looking to tone down how scary Patrick option is to those without projectiles while giving him an extra tool against those with them. I like it. I like it. April, I don't I don't see too many April plays, so I don't know how good or bad she is, but we made significant adjustments on how April gains ratings to push players to focus on raising ratings with more intentional while being more intentional. Danny, adjustments to fireball and up special recovery are intended to let players have some breathing room against some of Danny's more oppressive offensive options. Danny was really good. I discovered that about two days ago. He's nice, so I'm happy. Donatello needed some smaller quality of life changes to interact with smaller characters. I'm so happy. I'm trying to do an up attack and I cannot even hit the character because they are too damn small. Let's get it another damn W. 
Squidward, alongside general updates, we toned down Squidward's ability to repeatedly spike opponents even at low percentage. Let's go. Squidward is nasty. People didn't even realize. Ren and Stimpy. Ball light back air and early up special attacks are meant to be powerful options for Ren and Stimpy. We made small adjustments to how difficult they were to play around. Alright, we can get we can get down with that. That's cool. Jenny, boy, I played Jenny. If you watch my video, boy, you kick my ass. That boy, Jenny's nasty. Adjustments to light back air alongside general updates to Jenny's attack should add some additional counterplay to this attack. Reptar, with additional startup on light up and added recovery on back air, opponents should now have some additional windows to get past Reptar annoying normals. W. Raphael, we added some additional recovery to Shuriken to help address this frustrating, powerful defensive tool on the character built for offense. Yes, Raphael is stupid. He could just sit around and sh shoot Shuriken, then you can't even approach this guy. El Tigre, with strong combo routes and early KO options, adjusting via general changes, we made playing around El Tigre's light forward air and recovery tool a bit easier to fight against. El Tigre is a great character when used right. But if you don't know how to use them, you're dead and you're dead. You're dead. And with Gerald, with a much easier time getting KOs, we made some small adjustments to how advantageously Gerald could attack shields with light forward air and light down attacks. There's like 10 more characters after this. Like I said, this is a crazy big patch notes, but I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can take on a look for yourself find your characters read all the notes it's a lot but all i can say is these look like straight w's coming to this game it's going to make sense more competitively we looks like we're going to it looks like we're going to have a lot more defensive options i'm happy about that but you already know what it is tdn signing out yo yo yo